I'm Dr. Joseph Superiano out here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And so today our patient, now you're coming in, uh, neck pain and low back pain, correct? All right, how long has that been going on for? Oh, a few months, actually. A few months, yeah. okay. Um, now, typically, like for work, what do you do? Are you on your feet a lot? Are you sitting a lot behind a desk or a little bit? Oh, it very varies. I'm an office or stuff, or if I'm a truck, or I drive around in my truck or anything. Okay. So, mainly sitting down, really. Mainly sitting down? Yeah. Okay. So, what we're going to do today, um, we're going to start off running through a bunch of orthopedic tests. I want to try to recreate the pain. Um, I'm not trying to torture you by all means, but no, if right. anything does hurt, just mm -hmm. let me know. Okay. And we'll we will know, obviously, with the findings with that. So I'm gonna have you sit nice and straight. I'm gonna push down on the top of your head. Any pain when I do right that? There. Down in the lower back? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna bend your head like this. So right here it's like stiff. Right there, it's already it's stiff like, with? Okay. Yeah. If I push in, no, is there no. any pain with that? No, no, no. Okay. In this side? No. No pain? Okay. Now I'm gonna lift up. Any increase or decrease in pain? No change? Okay. Alright. What I want you to do, I want you to look all the way up at the ceiling, trying to get a range of motion. Any pain when doing that? No, just like stretching right here. Just stretching? Okay. And if you look all the way down at the floor? Any issues with that? Okay. If you were to bring one ear to your shoulder, any pain with that? No, no, no. And the other side? I think this side is like less. See? That, yeah. yeah here. Right here. So when you flex, when you turn your head or when you flex your head to the right, yeah. you're not you have decreased range of motion yeah. on that side. Um, if you're to rotate, look over either shoulder. Any issues with that? No, that's fine. Okay, yeah. so it's really that that main no, like one. This way. Yeah, it's just that way. lateral flexing to the right there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have you land your back for me. Okay. I'm gonna check some things out in the low back. Alright, I'm just going to raise this leg up. Let me know if you have any pain in the low back or going into the legs, anything like that. No pain? Any pain if I bring that foot forward? Granted, you may get tight. Just like my muscles, yeah. Okay. okay. We're going to cross this knee right there. I'm going to push down. Any pain in the low back or in the hips when I do that? Like right here. Like right there? Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Raise this leg up. Any pain with that? Any pain when I flex that foot? Nope. Cross. Same thing again here. This is my hip though. In the hip a little bit? Okay. I'm going to have you flip over, lay face down for me. Okay. So I'm going to have you bend this knee. If I bring this leg up like this, any pain with that in the low back or the hips? No. Okay. Any pain in the low back and the hips when I push in? How it work? Right in there? Yeah. Okay. So more of that like left side. Now if I bring it out like this, any pain with that? No. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to raise this leg up. Any pain with that? No. Okay. Any pain when I bring this leg in here? Kind of not like really. Okay. So not compared to how it was? No, no, no. Okay. And then when I bring it out like that, good. Okay, so we've got a little bit of findings, especially in that low back as well. Um, almost seen a little bit more on that left side compared to the right. Um, I'm gonna have you stand up real quick for me. Okay. And then I'll have you face that front wall. Um, we're gonna do also now range of motion in the low back. Good. If you were to bend down forward, is there any pain with doing that? You just look in the lower thing. In here? Just like that range of motion. Okay, now if you were to come all the way up, Extend. Any pain when doing that? Okay. If you were to bring one hand down to the side, any pain with that? What about the other side? No? Okay. And then if you were to rotate like that, any pain? No pain? Perfect. Alright. What I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you lay face down for me on the table. Right. So I'm going to scan the body, check everything out. We're going to do a little, little uh, manual palpation, evaluate, and then we're going to start with the massage device relax everything before we go ahead to, to do the adjustment. Okay, so before I start and I do any adjustment, I'm coming through, I'm scanning the body. I wanna check from the right side to the left side, we're looking for that equal symmetry. So I'm feeling in the neck. Yeah, we're definitely getting some tightness on that. Yeah, you notice that when I push in? 
Okay, more on the left side compared to the right. Yeah, even through that entire trap. You, do you notice that when I push yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. So we definitely got some, some issue on that left trap as well. We're going to come from that cervical spine, go down into the thoracic spine. Yeah. Any issues through here? No, no, okay. Okay, good. Okay. So through the thoracic, now we're getting into that thoracolumbar area, into that lumbar spine now. Okay. So he had a little bit of issues in that lower back. Okay. Any pain when I push in here? No, no. Any pain directly over the sacrum? Any pain on that left side? No. Okay, good. So from here, we're going to come down, we're going to check that leg length out. So when we look at the legs, that right leg's pulling short quite a bit here. So this is going to be one of the time we want to get the leg legs back to being balanced. So what that tells me is one that can be an issue stemming all the way up to the neck um, or it can be an issue in the low back as well. Um, one thing that I have been asked about people, especially when I go ahead and bring up the leg length, and a lot of people ask me, how does the neck actually affect the leg length all the way down here? So what happens is, there's what's called the dentate ligament. These dentate ligaments attached to the spinal cord and going all the way down the entire spine. So what happens when you have something pulling all the way up here, those ligaments are actually even pulling the entire spine. So in that entire spine, even with the subluxation or a misalignment up in the neck, that can actually create pulling all the way down to that foot. That's how, um, when, when we go ahead and we clear out that cervical spine, it can completely balance the feet. So, now that I told that one, let's go ahead and get the adjustment started. So we we'll start off, like I said, with the Hypervolt. It's a just your portable massage device. Works wonders. So the reason I do this is one, I want to loosen everything up on you. So when I go to make that adjustment, it's easier for me to make that adjustment and it allows your body to hold it longer. How's that feeling? Okay. Okay. So I really want to work on that that trap up here. Um, we're getting a lot of uh, taut tender fibers in that area, so we want to help really kind of alleviate some of the issues in here before we go to make that adjustment. So his main areas were the neck and the low back, so that's going to be the main areas we're going to focus on here as well. How'd that feel? It's good. <laughs> I know that little thing's actually pretty intense. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and start off the adjustment here. So as I like to always start adjustments, I like to do that T1 area. Um, we'll get a lot of uh, relief and tension, um, tension relief off the nerves, especially in that cervical thoracic junction here. So his main area that we were finding throughout the initial exam was more in that that left side here. There we go. You felt that just open up right through there. Good. We're gonna drop down a little bit, T2 here. There it was. 
was. Just a little bit there. So I know with that first one, you notice a lot more. I'm gonna come through the thoracic. We're gonna do that normal, that P to A adjustment from posterior to anterior. So we do the prone thoracic first, and then I like to clear it out, either doing a standing or a supine after. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. Good. One more time, take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. Good. I'm gonna go one more time too. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Good. Okay. So now, now that we did the that T1 region and then the rest of the thoracic spine, we're gonna come down here, we're gonna check the leg length down again. So as before, still right short. So what that's telling me, we've got an issue going on also right in through here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stabilize on your sacrum. I want you to raise this right leg up as high as you can. Any pain, tenderness, tightness with that? Okay, relax that side. Raise this left side up for me. How does that side compare to the other? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah, they both actually, if you could tell, they both raise up real nice. So doesn't seem that we're having a sacral issue. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna have you lay on your side and face me. I'm gonna have you bend that top leg. Keep that bottom one straight. Good. Good. To the other side. <laughs> How'd that feel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a spot, man. <laughs> it's a spot. There you go. I'm gonna just roll you a little bit right there. Okay. There it was. Lay flat on your back for me. So now, actually, if you want to come in, look at the leg length here. Comparing what it was, as all I'm doing, I'm just bringing the heels out. So it's a lot closer. It's still a tiny bit short on this right side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through and we're gonna do a leg pull here. <laughs> I'm sorry for that expression up there. Yeah, your ankle released a ton just with that. But yeah, you'll feel it in the ankle to the knee, going all the way up in that femur, even into the ankle. Yeah. Let me check the other side. Same thing. Both of those released really well. Okay. Okay. I am gonna have you sit on over for me. Perfect. So I want to clear out the rest of this thoracic spine. Okay, have you go like that. Giving yourself a big hug here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in. Mm -hmm. As you take a deep breath in, I'm gonna start bringing you down on the table. When I bring you down, I want you to exhale out for me, okay? Right. Deep breath in, and exhale out. Good, already cleared up. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead. Get that cervical spine realigned, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to use that Y strap. Okay. So I know you're having some issue yeah. with going to this side here. So let's relax. So what I'm going to do, we're going to laterally flex. We're going to rotate. There it was. <laughs> do the same thing again here. We're going to drop down a little bit though. There it was. <laughs> you felt that really it's real good. So, alright. So today, we're going to do the Y strap. Um, this is your first time having this done, correct? Okay. So what the Y strap is, it's a manual decompression device. The strap's going to go around the base of the occiput. You're going to lay all the way back. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to distract in that y, y axis. And you'll feel that decompression from that cervical spine going all the way down. Okay. I'm gonna have you lay back. We'll keep your legs bent like that, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just like that. And this is where, so for me, I stand at the top of the table here. We're gonna distract. 
Så er det derfor jeg holder det opp. Holder det opp. Relax just for a minute. Yeah, getting that done, it just, just opens everything up. How would you describe that to somebody who's never had that done before? You gotta come get it done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that move alone, I mean, that just releases so much pressure off the spine. Like, you I don't know. wanna get up now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna have you come on up. All right, I want you to face the front this way. Um, in the beginning, we went through the range of motion in the neck. So you can go through, like look up, up at the ceiling, look down to the floor, and then rotate, and then do you notice the difference with that? Now this is gonna be the, the bend. It's not so much in my muscles anymore, kind of, but it's still there, but. It's still, we're getting more range of motion, just yeah, it's still a little bit. A but little I can still like feel all the pops and everything. Yeah. Yeah, no, so, yeah, with the, even even just that one adjustment right there and there, you know, we can regain some of that range of motion back. Um, but, yeah, definitely getting better movement. How do you feel? I feel great. Feel great? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so anyone, if they are looking to get an adjustment done, um, we're here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Um, you can go visit my website at www.drjosephcipriano.com. Um, from there, email me. We'll get you scheduled in, and love to have you. Have a good one, everybody.